Welcome back. Now we take your questions. If you have a question yourself, send it to us at QuranSpeaks.com. So Dr. Shabir, the question that we have is, um, how can we reconcile what authenticity of Hadith and what we know about the Quran um, and Islam in general? And the viewer, uh, to give you some backstory to it, the viewer just mentioned that, uh, you know, they came across YouTube and uh, online websites, um, and it just came across information that was completely contradictory to what they knew uh, in terms of, uh, in understanding the Hadith. So can you comment a little bit uh, on that? Yeah, uh, some of these uh, YouTube videos and, and websites uh, take uh, a, an approach uh, that says, okay, we're going to follow the Quran only. And uh, sometimes they go to verses of the Quran which seem to indicate that the Quran is complete, it is a detailed revelation, and it's as if nothing else is needed apart from the Quran in order to follow the guidance uh, from God. Now, uh, that, that is a, a, an extreme response to what has happened in Islamic history in that uh, Muslims tended to follow not only the Quran, but uh, detailed information about the life of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, things that he said about very minute uh, issues. And, and they made all of that uh, precedent for Islamic law, so that the Islamic law became very, very much detailed, right down to the very finer points uh, uh, of, of how to do things. Uh, so, so now we have the two extremes. We have the classical Islamic law, the way it has been worked out, and now we have a, a response to it that says, let's throw away all of that law and just go with the Quran alone. Well, in between, there is a balanced approach, and that's the approach that we have to find. An approach that says, okay, the Quran is primary, we should use that as our primary document, and we should not sacrifice anything the Quran clearly says for something that is outside of the, of the Quran. And uh, at the same time, the, the Quran seems to indicate th that we need to do certain things, but uh, the Quran does not give all of the details about how to do those things. We find those details in the practice of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And indeed, the Quran itself also tells us to follow the Prophet, peace be upon him. So how, what would it mean to follow the, the Prophet, peace be upon him, as the Quran repeatedly tells us to do, if it only meant to follow the Quran? The Quran should have just simply said, follow the Quran, follow the Quran, follow the Quran. But the Quran is saying, uh, obey Allah and obey his messenger. Uh, follow the Quran, but also follow the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So the, the, the balanced approach then is to uh, f follow the Quran and also uh, look at that uh, sort of detail about the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which is clearly from him in authentic reports, and uh, 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 reports which do not contradict the clear instructions in the Quran itself. How do we, there's a bit of conversation as well about the actual authenticity of some hadiths, right? Some are weaker, some are stronger. How do you reconcile that as well? Yes, uh, y you have to differentiate between strong and weak. And what that just simply means is that uh, y you have a hadith, which is basically something the Prophet, peace be upon him, said or did, a report about him. And then you have a chain of narrators through whom the, the hadith was transmitted from one person to another. In the early stage, it was transmitted uh, mostly by word of mouth, and in the later stage, mostly in writing. Now, when things are transmitted by word of mouth. You know, it's like Chinese whispers. One person tells another who tells another, and then it becomes something else at the end. So we have to watch for this variation. Uh, so we, we differentiate between the strong and the weak by taking uh, the, the strong that has a good chain of narrators. More, more so, we want to make sure that uh, the, 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 we don't go with a single li line of narr narration, but multiple lines which confirm the same thing and give us more confidence that this is authentically so nobody made it up. Thank you, Dr. Shabir. You're welcome.